What's going on? How are you guys this week? As usual, we have plenty of bad news on Frankie's Street Rage Week, but uh, some good news sprinkled in, which I will start with. So the pemmican is back. We should have it made by the end of this week. And we were selling it maybe a year and a half, two years ago when we had access to the ovens to dry the beef. However, I have sourced 100% grass-fed, freeze-dried ground beef. And if you don't know what pemmican is, it's a, a traditional Native American preparation of dried beef and rendered beef fat tallow. Excellent, excellent survival food. And I'd like to know, you know, do you guys want to buy the freeze-dried ground beef on its own as well, or do you just want the pemmican? So it's going to be expensive, and you can find freeze-dried ground beef online in the U.S., but none of it's grass-fed. So it will be unique in that sense. This is the sample batch of the pemmican we made. I mean, I know it's not too appetizing, but uh, we should be able to run this through on the conveyor belt that we use to make the best bars and, and have a similar product. You know, so it is nice that the freeze-dried ground beef did come in, although this $10,000 hunk of shit dehydrator still isn't working, so we can't give you guys the jerky. And that was something I was hoping would kind of help me increase the revenue stream because I'm considering taking away the 10% discount, but... The problem is if I take away the 10% discount on orders over 300 and then like move the 5% discount up to orders over 250, I might lose customers to the point where I might compromise my business in general. So, uh, you know, the profit margins aren't really high enough right now uh, to be profitable with all the, all the stuff going wrong. I mean, I got slapped with a uh, $1,200 electric Con Ed bill this month and the AC wasn't even running. And my landlord's not working with me. My Con Ed isn't working with me. It's comical. My landlord hired two electricians that told me a $1,200 electric bill is normal. Yeah, my, and my, my dick is two feet long. Maybe it's, it's close to that, but come on. What do you think, I'm fucking stupid? Like, it, it's fucking disrespectful. I'm a little bit concerned about how reliably I will be able to get this freeze-dried ground beef. So if you guys do want to buy it on its own for survival purposes, you can reach out to me. We can do a bulk amount. I think I want that to be something special on the side. I don't really want to sell like one or two pounds of freeze dried ground beef here and there. If you want to buy like 10 pounds of it at like a bulk price of a few hundred dollars and then keep it, that's something I, I could consider doing. Uh, so two pretty big things happened last week, I guess in the context of my business. We had the HVAC guy come and fill the Freon up, uh, which I didn't realize you can't buy without a technician certificate which is like a 16 hour handling course. So I had to give the guy the money and he went and bought this $400 canister of Freon, uh, which used to be a lot cheaper, like 100 bucks two years ago. The price has skyrocketed. So maybe about 800 between filling everything up with Freon, both condensers and, and the fridge. And he also fixed this, uh, which is uh, an old used commercial refrigerator that I've never really touched. I've had it since we opened. And this thing is $6,000 new and it gets cold, so I'm assuming someone's willing to pay maybe a thousand fifteen hundred for it I don't know well, I'll have to see otherwise I'll just get rid of it so I was complaining about how Verizon you know charged me for like three or four months uh, last week and I never used their service so I called them up and they didn't want to deal with me uh, luckily optimum was able to get in here really quick last week so we got the internet service back up and running real quick I'll show you guys uh, the optimum installation although it's nothing special What's weird is I just got the optimum internet service and you can't even manage the router. So I don't know what's up with that. I mean, this room's a mess, but we got the optimum internet service up and running. I have my computer. We have, you know, the printer to print out orders. And I'm, I'm showing my guys how to uh, print all of the orders out right now. So I don't really have to be down here. And, and the main goal being so, you know, I could, you know, take a week or two off and then possibly look on the West Coast for warehouses or, or look uh, nearby for farms. I don't know guys. The reason I might have to remove the 10% discount is because you know, I've been kind of holding out trying to maintain as high of a customer base as possible until like an expansion happens. Because if I can get if I would have gotten that slaughterhouse or if I would have gotten the farm to do dairy and eggs and migrated my customer base with these new products, I would have started making a lot more money, but I don't know. I, I've just been holding out. It's getting close to three years now and I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm doing so many things. We got like so many products. You know, I sell salt, I sell best bars, whey protein, flextros, water keeper. You know, each of these things should be a business on its own. And uh, I actually have so much water keeper this week. I cut the price in half. 
it's eight dollars so if you guys want to get the water keeper for eight dollars a bottle uh, Frankie's freerangefoods.com. Yeah, I think I have like a hundred bottles of water key for available. So I just want to push them out this week. I mean, I could keep the price high, put them in the fridge and, and just w wait till they sell normally. But I, I don't really care at this point. Oh, w with that freeze dried uh, ground beef coming in, we also got the other freeze dried glandulars on organ supplements. So we're going to have the full spectrum blend back in stock. We're going to have the big brain back in stock for a little while. And if you guys have been purchasing uh, the organ supplements, uh, bovine powders, and they, they've tasted a little different, we're back to the old um, one that actually tastes a little better and I like more. I just couldn't get it for a little while. You know, so I'm working on restocking stuff. We got the digestive enzymes back in. We got the immune strength back in with my, I must say, immaculate organization skills. And we're gonna have everything else back in as well. Um, I'm gonna make the full spectrum today. And I'm also trying to stock up on everything for organ supplements, including the vitamin D3, if I do decide to take a break for a few months. So I did hire two guys and I might have to run out my other credit card just to keep the business running for a few months. Uh, but, you know, it's just a combination of everything over the past, um, I guess, year or so with all the nonsense lawsuits, the business not doing too well, um, the, the slaughterhouse deal falling through. You know, me not really wanting to be down here, my liver damage and me not feeling so good. So I'd like to take a couple months off ideally and not have to be down here at all. Uh, I'm going to see if that's possible. If not, um, I don't know. I, I can't, I honestly, I can't envision myself not doing that because I don't think I'm going to be uh, happy enough or okay enough to, well, not even happy, just okay enough to, to keep the business running. But we'll see. Uh, let, let's hop in the freezer and show you guys if we have anything this week because my brain is completely fried. So we got some oxtails back in stock. Price has been going up like crazy on everything though. So yeah, that, that's another big problem. All of this meat in here has gone up 20, 30, 40% in price and I haven't really increased my prices that much. So if I would have gotten that slaughterhouse or farm, things would have been a lot different. Some of you guys are complaining that these, um, these New York strips that I got at a lower price weren't as good. So uh, we just got the regular thick New York strips back in stock for you guys. This is the sirloin steak promo this week. It was four free sirloin steaks with your order, which is four four ounce steaks, uh, one pound total. Top secret burger blend. Uh, we stocked up on some more picanha steaks. Um, my guys put all of the, the strip steaks here. Have some one pound beef belly left still, but we're gonna run out of stock soon. A lot of you guys have been liking the, uh, the venison. I sell out of the five pound ground venison every week. Eye rounds are almost out. We got these as a deal uh, a little while ago. Tri-tip we got. Lamb testicles, we restocked. My guys have been playing with testicles all weekend because you guys buy these up like crazy, but now we got plenty of them. Plenty of beef organs as well. And more importantly, the popular picanha is back in stock. We got some good looking picanha for you guys. And I got to make sure the weights on this are correct because I don't want to give you guys five pounds of meat for the three pound price. So no, nothing new is really coming in. Uh, I think I've mentioned every week for the past few weeks that uh, I'm, I'm going to have the, the regular marrow bones back in soon. I'll see if we can fire up that dance off for the first time in a week or two. But uh, I got some stuff to do. So uh, oh, let's actually just take a quick look around first. So for some reason, the post office hasn't come for like the past four days. And now I have like half a pallet of orders that should have gone out last Thursday and now it's Monday. So I'm a little irritated. I used to actually have to drive to the post office to drop these off because this guy would never show up. But, you know, what do you expect in New York City? So not only do we have that half pallet of orders, we got, you know, the orders from the weekend and some more orders downstairs to fill. So I'm sorry if you guys were waiting an extra day or two or three to, to get these orders, but we're definitely going to get them out uh, all today on Monday and I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to print out the meat orders on the computer for these guys to fill in the freezer. And uh, since I do have two extra guys working, I got one guy doing the, the non-meat orders and I got an extra guy doing the meat orders. Um, everything's going to be a lot quicker and we're going to be a lot more consistent with getting everything out. Because my guys have fallen a little bit behind uh, these past three weeks, mainly because I've been ordering like so much meat to cut, um, just to kind of stock up the freezer a bit. But we'll see, we'll see how things go over the next few weeks. and. Uh, Maybe I'll feel a little more confident about leaving. Yeah, you know, it's tough because like on one hand, I just 
I don't care about what happens if I take a three month vacation. On the other hand, you know, I've worked so hard, I'm trying to conserve as much of it as possible. All right, so I think we got down here around 10.30. It's a little after two o'clock now. Uh, we got the orders done for basically all the businesses. Since I have three guys here working for Frankie's Free Range Meat now, and then the one guy doing the other companies, I can get all of the meat orders out on Monday, which is very, very important. Uh, so we don't lose anything, but this post office guy better come because we got these boxes, we got those boxes. I got more post office stuff over there. I, I don't really think uh, there's going to be uh, anything else to show you guys today. Uh, I, I might still do that sirloin promo for this week, but we'll see. I don't really know. Uh, one thing is for certain is that I have uh, quite a bit of work to try to uh, catch up on if I plan on taking a break for any period of time. I have to make sure Frankie's Naturals is all stocked up. Organ supplements stocking up is a lot of work. Uh, the Wi-Fi shielding is already fine as is. I might want to get some winter clothes though before I leave. Uh, so then I have to deal with all that other stuff on the side. Oh, the um, uh, technician uh, I had come earlier today, he said he wants 1500 to fix the dehydrator. Now, if, if that guy fixes the dehydrator and it turns on, I will give him 1500 because if I got to get a control panel from China, it's probably going to cost me 1000 and then another, it, it's worth it if he can fix it. So I told the guy, hey, listen, I had five other guys look at this. If you can fix it, I will pay you 1500 So we'll see if he can come this week and we get the dehydrator up and running because, you know, I, I don't really want to have to get rid of that discount on Frankie's Strange Meat, but I might have to. Look, e either way, w right now we have the lowest priced meat online. With our 10% discount, it's even crazier because other companies, the meat's more expensive and they don't offer free shipping. And if they do offer free shipping, they certainly don't offer a discount on more expensive orders. So let me know what you guys think. Decent amount uh, today. The pemmican, if you guys want the freeze dried ground beef separate, if you guys would be interested in a blueberry honey flavor. But that's going to be it for today. Uh, so you guys can go to frank-chapano.com to check out all of my businesses. Uh, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment, any questions down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And I will see you for tomorrow.